we're proud to have Joe Chambers here at Drummer's World today, uh, noted uh, percussionist, uh, jazz drummer, vibus, played just about every percussion instrument, uh, composer, and also uh, lately being uh, in educational system. Joe, what kind of uh, what kind of things do you see in the future for the for the for the drummer who is just starting out, and uh, what kind of advice would you pass along to him? Well, <clears throat> the first thing I would say, of course, uh, know your instrument, master your instrument, and uh, as a drummer, uh, get control of, of drums, or the drum set as we know it, but I think a drummer uh, should become, just like everyone else, should become a total musician, that is to say, uh, he should be able to cover the total scope and have a total scope in uh, music. For example, uh, I did a lot of records in the 60s and Blue Note stuff. When I was making those records, I never took a drum part. I always took a piano chart. First of all, I could play piano, and then when I played the songs, I knew them thoroughly. I knew them thoroughly. I knew them just as well as anybody else. Therefore, that made me play drums better on them because I knew the total structure of the song. So that is a part of what I'm talking about. Uh, also, uh, it gives you more options. If you can uh, play piano and arrange and orchestrate, you can start to write and compose. And of course, this is what uh, recording people are looking for, people who can record, who can arrange, write, and compose. Uh, and it gives you more options creatively to be able to play, say, vibes, to play the mallet instruments. You know, the mallets are really like the next step from drums. It's a part of the drumming family. So a, a drummer, a musician, should know a keyboard and this is mallet keyboard. So that, that's what I'm saying. I'd say a, a drummer, per se, should uh, educate himself, him or herself, uh, thoroughly in music. That is the vice. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.